when you start comparing yourself based on the like of those you see on social media do you find yourself scrolling mindlessly on social media in terms of instagram tiktok or twitter or let's say when you leave social media you get overwhelmed or tired or you just become unproductive then the need to social media detox my name is Itunu and i'm a youtuber based in nigeria for us to get a better understanding of what social media detox means we need to define the term detox and i know we are all aware with the word detox because i know for some people at the beginning of the year i think i want to like detox i want to like get rid of some things in my system basically that is what detox means relating it to social media it means you doing away with like a social media platform that is making you unproductive that is making you overwhelmed that is making you, you know feel less of yourself so you doing away could be getting rid of it for a month or a year a week it depends on you as a person my first experience with social media detox was during the corona period right a lot was happening around me i was exposed to a lot of things different things on social media on twitter instagram we are seeing this on youtube you are seeing this it was a lot on me and it was actually paying so much on my mental health what i did was i deleted instagram twitter youtube whatsapp for a whole month and honestly, that was one of the best things I did for myself during that period. For you, social media detox could be you deleting Instagram. Instagram could be the reason why you are unproductive, you're overwhelmed, you're feeling less of yourself. You could delete Instagram. Let's talk about some reasons why you may need to social media detox. The first one could be you're having trouble sleeping. The thing is, most of the time we don't like to accept it and say, oh, I don't spend too much time on social media. Like I just go there to like just check what I want to check and then I'm off. But we all know that we are lying to ourselves because at the end of the day, you hop onto social media, 10 minutes down the line, you are still scrolling. 15 minutes down the line, you are still scrolling. And because of this, it could affect your sleeping pattern. Most especially if you're someone who loves to check like your social media platform before you go to bed go to sleep and then you notice that the next morning when you wake up you are tired another reason could be you become unproductive take for example you may be someone who says oh i just want to quickly check something on social media i have to do something but 30 minutes down the line you still find yourself on social media and then the job you need to get done is still there waiting for you at the end of the day you be like i'll do it by 5 pm i'll do it by 6 pm and then you start procrastinating Another reason why you need to social media detox is that you get overwhelmed up on social media and for some reason like you were normal, you were okay, you were happy when you went on to social media. But at the end of the day, you start going through and you notice that you become overwhelmed, you become anxious. Another reason could be you are comparing yourself to others because this is social media. Everybody wants to show their highlight. They want to show the good things that is happening to them. Now, nobody will come onto social media. Probably there are some people who still do it, but not everybody. People want to come onto social media to show you like the good side of life. Nobody wants to come onto social media to show you how they are crying or how they are working. Only showing you that. So now you come onto social media, you start measuring what you've achieved compared to what others have achieved. Now, mind you, like I said, they are not showing you everything that is going on behind the scene. When you start comparing yourself based on the life of those you see on social media, sis, <laughs> you need to social media detox. Another reason is now, let's cite an example. I know we've all gone out with someone who they will always be on their phone. No matter how important the event is. So now, if you're that kind of person, you actually need to social media detox. You want to be present in the moment. You want to see all that is happening. Now, when you are someone who is so, so engrossed with social media, you tend to like ignore, you tend to like, you know, just dismiss like the little things that matter. You listening, you being available when someone needs your opinion on something. But if you are someone who is so, so engrossed with social media, when they need your help or when they need you to be present in that moment you are not going to be present now another reason why you need a social media detox is that it frees your mental space i know some people don't find this bad but i've noticed that whenever i wake up in the morning and the next thing i do is grab my phone 
go through my social media account it's a lot i'm just waking up i'm just settling into the day and then i get to expose myself i get to expose my mind i get to expose my brain to a lot of things so i go through instagram i go to twitter i go through my email it's a lot when you social media detox and you do it with some of the social media platforms it gives you a free space to think what i do these days is when I wake up in the morning, I don't grab my phone. I hop into the toilet, I brush my teeth, then I do my devotion. After my devotion, I read a book for 30 minutes, I hop into the shower, then I go back to check my email. Now, email, I don't go through my social media accounts yet. Then when I settle down into the day, I can now go back to my social media account to check it. This is something you can also do. This is like an habit you can also like build on. It is an habit I'm trying to cultivate. Like I've grown, although there are some days where I fall off, but at the end of the day, the fact that you are disciplined enough to know that, mm, I think I made a mistake here today. I need to like make adjustments. That is all that matters. This is going to be the end of today's video. I know if one of the things I listed today stood out for you. Are you going to consider social media detoxing? Do you think it is something you can do to go off like a social media platform for a month? for a week or for a year and you do it <laughs> let me know in the comments section and do not forget like i always say that you are enough and you matter and everything is figureoutable until i see you in my next video bye for now <laughs>